This year, the Safaricom Foundation embarks on a new strategy that outlines our agenda for the next three years from 2018 to 2021. Our mission is to build communities and demonstrably transform lives through impactful investment that are aligned with the Sustainable Development Goals. We made significant achievements in our last strategy and we now have an even stronger desire to deliver more focused impact over the next three years. We've made a strategic decision to focus on three key thematic areas, which we believe are critical for our country and our communities. These are health, education, and economic empowerment. We will work with a wide range of partners to co-create strategic and shared value programs. We'll also engage in advocacy activities that relate to deepening the impact of our work and our partnerships. I'm also pleased to note that all the foundation trustees are playing a key role in providing oversight on these programs and partnerships. We'll also continue to encourage active participation by all staff. Finally, this year marks 15 years of the Safaricom Foundation. We look forward to more years of impactful community partnerships because as you know, when we come together, great things happen. One of the growing health burdens that Kenya faces is that of non-communicable diseases, such as diabetes, cancer, and hypertension. In line with the third sustainable development goal, the foundation's objective is to ensure healthy lives and promote the well-being of Kenya, Kenyans at all ages. The government has made impressive strides in improving the health status and well-being of Kenyans as demonstrated by an improvement in life expectancy to 62 as, as at the end of 2016. However, there remains challenges, especially when it comes to non-communicable diseases like diabetes. Close to half a million Kenyans are living with diabetes, with 60% of them unaware that they have the condition, while 88 of the adult Kenyans have never screened for blood sugar. These statistics mirror what we have seen over the years in the medical camp. Incidences of diabetes continue to grow, and statistics tell us that the rate of diabetes in children, known as type 1 diabetes, is on the rise. With type 1 diabetes, your body fails to produce insulin. This is mainly genetic and happens most often in children and young adults. Type 2 diabetes is mainly as a result of one's lifestyle and your body fails to make use of insulin it produces, resulting in too much glucose staying in your blood. While changes can be made to one's lifestyle, nothing can be done to change the status of children with diabetes. That is why as Safaricom Foundation, we are committed in mitigating the impact of type 1 diabetes among children in Kenya, and also ensuring that children maintain healthy lifestyles so that they do not get diabetes at later stages of their lives. We will do this by building partnerships aimed at increasing access to management care and treatment of diabetes at the community level and by improving availability of pediatric diabetes medication in health facilities. I strongly believe that no woman deserves to die while giving life. Maternal health for me is not just a pillar that I am passionate about. It has become a life mission. Even though the national maternal mortality ratio has declined substantially, to 362 per 100,000 live births. This ratio remains unacceptably high, especially in the light of the global target of reducing the ratio to 70 per 100,000 live births. In addition, the staggering disparities between counties remain, with close to 99% of maternal deaths in the country occurring in just 15 counties. The government and its development partners have made substantial investments to address the high rates of maternal mortality in these counties. We as the Safaricom Foundation have chosen to focus our integrated program on maternal and child health in Lamu as a start, with the aim of scaling up to other counties in the future. Our goal is to improve the quality and access to maternal and child health services through infrastructure improvement, the provision of community-based outreach services, strengthening the referral system, especially for the remote areas of our country, training of health workers and improving efficiency of operations within our health facilities. With these interventions, we remain optimistic that together with our partners, 
we can ensure that mothers survive childbirth and that children have a safe and healthy start to life. Unemployment is considered one of Kenya's leading economic policy challenges. At the forefront of this challenge lies the youth. A recent survey put overall unemployment among youth at 55% and it is estimated that about half a million to one million young people enter the workforce every year, yet the private sector only employs 10% of that number annually. These are certainly worrying statistics. It therefore comes as no surprise that a recent analysis by the World Bank noted that the majority of Kenyan youth are disappointed and frustrated by lack of jobs. I'm especially passionate about this topic because I believe in the potential of our young people to contribute positively to the economy and society. That is why I, Sylvia Mulinge, am very proud to be championing our economic empowerment pillar to address the issue of high unemployment among Kenya's youth with a three-year outlook. By using a partnership model that builds synergies between technology and youth programming, we believe we have the right ingredients that will translate our young people's dreams and aspirations into reality. When young people have both the ability and the power to make and act on economic decisions that lift them out of poverty, their lives are positively transformed, their income allows them to save more, invest more, as well as raise healthier families. It is evident, therefore, that investing more in economic empowerment is the right thing to do if we want to empower young people and build a stronger Kenyan society and economy. This is also in line with the Sustainable Development Goal number 8, which calls for promoting inclusive and sustainable economic growth as well as full and productive employment and decent work for all. Our economic empowerment pillar will involve four main desired outcomes, which will provide opportunities for innovative entrepreneurship, value-adding and innovative agriculture, viable and dignified entry employment, and the gig economy, which involve temporary and flexible jobs as independent contractors or freelancers. Education is fundamental to human development and critical to broad-based economic growth. Few societies have sustained rates of growth or significantly reduced poverty without first investing in the expansion of access to quality education. Studies show that despite free primary education being offered by the government, a significant proportion of Kenyan children are failing to master basic literacy and numeracy skills. One of our strategic objectives is to ensure inclusive and sustainable quality education. This ties in to sustainable development goal number four whose target is to ensure that boys and girls have quality early childhood development so that they are well prepared for primary education. This is why at Safaricom Foundation we have chosen to focus our efforts on improving literacy and numeracy in select counties. We will do this by improving competency in literacy and numeracy among children aged between 6 and 16 years old and also train teachers to implement the program effectively. We will also provide the relevant learning materials and improve learning spaces for children in these select areas. Finally, we aim to set up centers of excellence in identified counties with the potential to replicate across all other regions. We strongly believe that these multiple approaches and in partnership with like-minded organizations, we can play a significant part in unlocking our children's intellectual and creative potential. In recent years, Kenya has made commendable gains in expanding the education opportunities for Kenyans at various levels. However, a worrying trend is emerging. After high school, a lot of our young people are rushing to join the universities, as many as 95% of them are seeking undergraduate courses where available. However, the data we have at the moment shows that only 30% of future jobs will require university degrees. So we're essentially creating capacity mismatch, resulting in a wide skills gap. This is why we believe that it is important that we create greater focus on promoting technical and vocational education for our young people. Traditionally, technical and vocational education has not been perceived as a viable training option. However, 
this is an opportunity for us to change the perception in making this training relevant and dynamic to current needs and improving the quality of this education that is offered by the different facilities offering it here in Kenya. To this end, we will use a structured partnership approach through working with best skills providers, employers, development partners, government and agencies, accredited and accredited providers. By doing this, I believe we will contribute positively to reducing unemployment among our youth by providing them with relevant skills that are required in the market and partnering to create jobs as well as transform the labor market. On behalf of the management team, the new strategy presents us with the opportunity to deepen our partnerships, work closely with communities and to demonstrate impact. We're excited about the opportunity to design and implement programs in the three thematic areas of health, education and economic empowerment. But we also really look forward to continuing with our philanthropic grants that widen our footprint across the country. The management team will continue to provide financial management, monitoring and communication support for all of our programs and projects. The Safaricom Foundation does a lot more than simply provide grants. Year on year, over 70% of Safaricom staff participate in the activities of the Foundation. And our colleagues in the regional offices around the country play a key role in connecting the work of the Foundation with communities countrywide. So we will also work with our colleagues in Safaricom to deliver a robust employee engagement program. And this will provide opportunities in mentorship, in skilled-based secondments to our partners, and the opportunity to support selected projects directly. And finally, we will pay particular attention to tracking and communicating our results, building thematic discussions around our work and documenting our contribution to Kenya's development agenda and to the Sustainable Development Goals.